Welcome to Truth, Money, and Freedom. Today is Thursday, May 9th, 2019. No shortage of news today, gang. Uh, some fun stuff here, too. It just uh, uh, makes my heart sing with all this stuff that's coming up in the news. Gives me things to uh, do podcasts with easily. Uh, how Trump's attacks on Powell led to the collapse of China trade talks. Well, here's the deal, gang. Uh, I'm not going to read the story as I usually don't. I read it, but now I'm going to summarize. Uh, Trump has been begging the uh, Federal Reserve to actually lower interest rates and start quantitative easing again. And uh, President Xi of China sees that as weakness. And uh, so he, Trump is trying to negotiate from a pillar of strength while he's begging the Federal Reserve to please turn on the money spigots again, please lower interest rates. And Xi's not buying it. So Trump is betting the farm on the river card right here, um, and Z knows it. So, and I'd like to bring up a few other things actually. And one of them is the stock market. Now, once again, you guys know, and I've said this a jillion times, it's an illusion. But it is interesting. You know, I, I'm interested when it goes up and down, uh, and the reasons why. But look at that. I mean, we predicted earlier, I think it was Saturday or Sunday, that we were going to have a tumultuous, very violent uh, time in the stock market this week. And it is. I mean, it's actually quite violent. Now, that doesn't mean the plunge protection team won't come in at the end of the day like they've been doing most of this week and bring those numbers back up. But the Dow right now, as I'm doing this video, which is 9.20 a.m. Central, the Dow is down 319 points, NASDAQ down 121 points, S&P down 34 points. But not only that, look at the 10-year yield, which is also going down. People are, or not people, entities are going into the perceived safety net that is the U.S. Treasury note, the 10-year Treasury. So uh, that's what they do when times are bad. But look at this. Um, they hit silver again, and gold is up, but only just a little bit. But silver's down. So kind of an interesting day when that happens. And the big thing is, of course, in the cryptocurrencies. We do a refresh, make sure our numbers are accurate and correct as of 9.20 in the morning central. It, uh, right now, the coin market cap is at $187 billion. It keeps climbing. Bitcoin has now crossed over the $6,000 mark. So it's interesting that uh, while the stock market is going down, the coin market cap is going up. Money's going into cryptocurrencies. Money's going into bonds and cryptos. Money could be going into precious metals. We would never know because precious metals are priced on the paper markets, uh, which is kind of an interesting thing here. The derivative itself uh, determines the, the price of the, the actual physical metal. And that's, you know, like I said, that's part of the manipulation. We've talked about that in podcasts, you know, before. But I thought that I would bring all this to your attention while at the same time the trade talks are not going well. Z knows the U.S. economy is slowing down. I'm talking about President Z here. He knows it. And Trump knows that he knows it. Um, so basically, are we going to have some productive talks with the Chinese? My guess is, and once again, it's just my guess. My guess is no, we're not going to have productive talks um, because Trump is trying to, like I said, uh, arbitrate, negotiate with the Chinese from a position of strength. Z knows it's actually weakness. Uh, Trump is, you know, basically trying very, very, very hard to present, you know, the juggernaut U.S. economy as the most, you know, the best and the strongest in the world. Well, China's not in very good shape either. However, they are stabilizing after they did a massive stimulus in January, the biggest one China's ever done. And it was uh, one trillion yuan, brand new yuan, printed and put into the economy in January. So they have not been printing money and throwing it into the economy um, quite as hard and fast as the U.S. has. So the Chinese uh, basically are at a... a I would say probably two or three years previous to what the U.S. are to the U.S. So um, they're still actually somewhat strong, and they, they haven't pumped as much liquidity into their economy. In other words, um, but they're getting there. Don't worry, they're doing it too. Uh, but an interesting story, and I actually did enjoy reading this story as well. Um, um, I really do think that the 
talks are not going to go well this week. Um, I think that Trump has got to save face somehow, but I'm not sure what he'll do. But the crappy trade deals that we've had uh, with China since 2000, I think, are still going to remain pretty much in force. Um, I, I don't see us actually getting forward in where it's more equal trade between us and China. That's just not going to happen right now, folks. Um, and the time for that was, like I said, you know, when we allowed China into the WTO in 2000. These tariffs should have been equalized between the two nations at this time. But American corporations, you know, because of our fascism we have here, you know, the unholy union of businesses and government that we have here in the United States, fascism, crony capitalism, corporatism, once again, pick your word. We have that here in the United States. And that determines, um, you know, basically whether or not we have equal trade or what they call it right now is free trade, but it's not free trade. It's, it's corporatism. So uh, will America come out on top? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. The Chinese are, are negotiating from a stronger position than we are, especially since Trump has been begging the Federal Reserve to reduce rates and to print more money, uh, because that's the only way we can continue this thing. I mean, that's literally all we have left, gang. That is it. And if we can increase the tariffs on Chinese products, there is a possibility that we may be able to bring some industry back to the United States of America. Very little of it, but at least some of it may come back. And I don't know exactly what it would be, but you uh, raise tariffs 25% across the board, I mean, it does help. Um, it, the products will become more expensive. Uh, the Chinese have bore the brunt of all the tariff increases until now, but I'm thinking now they're going to say, Nah, you, you, your people can go ahead and uh, pay off those tariffs. You want to raise tariffs? Have your people pay them. And that's probably what Z is telling Trump right now as we speak. Um, where Trump is trying very, very hard to also negotiate from a position of strength. You know, saying, hey, listen, uh, we're the ones who sent the businesses out there. We could probably make it better for them to come home. So if you want to negotiate from that standpoint, that's the, uh, my standing point. I don't think Z will accept that. I think Z understands that it, with our economy, we just can't do that anymore. Um, things will have to change in the United States. Um, the fascism, the crony, crony capitalism has to disappear for us to have manufacturing again. And the U.S. government is dependent on that for basically funding campaigns. So you know, politicians are on a 24-7 um, thing of run, you know, uh, just trying to... Uh, raise money constantly for their campaigns for the next election cycle. That's what uh, our politicians do now. They don't legislate anymore. They just constantly make phone calls and constantly hobnob um, with all the big businesses. And then, of course, once the big businesses give them money, they're in their pocket. Um, so easily controlled. So I thought uh, this would be a fun one to bring up to you guys. Um, but at the same time, we showed the stock market and that's maybe a direct result of those negotiations. So, but at any rate, um, it is fun to watch this stuff. Uh, but now I have to get productive and get ready for work. So I'll see what I can do to upload this. By the way, uploading to YouTube is a pain in the butt this morning on Thursday, May 9th. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this, but it's taking hours, hours to upload a video right now. Whereas normally it would take, you know, about 40 minutes. Uh, I've been uploading the same video now for, oh boy, how long has it been? Quite a while. It says 45 minutes, 44 minutes remaining. <laughs> this is a uh, podcast I did, a TMF podcast I did this morning with Conjecture. And it's been uploading for at least two hours now, 44 minutes left. Same size as all my other podcasts, you know, a little less than 20 minutes. Um, so I don't know if they're having some problems this morning or what. But at any rate, that's all I have for you right now, gang. You guys all take care. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.